channel. So today is Saturday. It's 1.45. I just left my husband's soccer game. It is a hot one out there today, you guys. It's like 85 degrees. It's October 28th. It just... I'm not loving it, okay? I do love the sunshine and I love the warmth, but you guys know I'm a fall girly, true and true. So I want like a 50, 60 degrees day, especially in New England, you know? So anyways, I left that, especially is not very comfortable when you're seven months pregnant, but it's fine. Nonetheless, it was a fun game. My sister came, so always fun to have someone with me. Makes the game go by a little bit quicker, so yeah anyways it's halloween weekend so my sister is actually having a halloween party tonight so on my way to go home shower i didn't think i was gonna have to shower again but i am a sweaty mess so I'm gonna go shower and get ready i'm making a few things to help out for the party um and yeah then we'll be on our way probably gonna relax for a little bit i'm pretty tired i also like haven't had anything to eat and it's 1 45 so i need to either stop or eat something because my stomach is hurting <laughs> but um yeah what else oh and then tonight my costume is like cute but kind of basic i just like didn't want to spend a lot of money and hard with like maternity and everything so i have a black maternity dress and i just bought a witch hat so i'm being a witch um and then i think brad's just gonna be like a soccer player or something so we probably won't stay for two too long because one pregnant two um i get tired at like four o'clock <laughs> But we also have my baby shower tomorrow, which is very exciting. So I wanna make sure I get a good night sleep and everything. I was actually up at four this morning and could not fall back asleep until like 5.30. So yeah, I just wanna make sure I'm getting some rest and I'm really excited to see all of our friends and family and be, Casey and be showered with all of his gifts and everything. It's just such a special time. I can't believe how fast time is going and how soon he'll be here. So a lot of fun stuff happening this weekend so i will take you guys along and i'll try and get some clips from the baby shower but obviously not gonna vlog and also need to respect that some people don't want to be filmed so i will do my best getting some clips um, and inserting photos too but i'm really excited i'm really struggling with the shoe situation because my feet are swollen and nothing's really fitting luckily it's not that bad it's just uncomfortable and hard because nothing fits but my crocs still fit so that's good <laughs> but anyways i am going to just mellow out listen to some music and figure out what i want to eat because your girl's really hungry okay you guys so now i'm gonna start getting ready for the night i went to the store i've just been relaxing i had a liquid IV and definitely feel more awake and showered and everything so i'm going to redo my makeup it's only 4 30 party doesn't start until 7 i want to get there a little early um because i think i told you guys we probably aren't going to stay for too long because we have my shower tomorrow and pregnant so i'm very tired but i'm very excited i think it's gonna be a lot of fun so yeah but i am like i said tired so just trying to hydrate and definitely was feeling dehydrated i think just from being in the sun so i'm gonna keep Drink some water, but I'm gonna put on Gilmore Girls. Take my prenatals before I go to bed. It's the prenatals that I take, the ones from Ritual. Um, I like them, they taste like lemon and they're easy to get down. So, yeah, but anyways, I'm gonna watch Gilmore Girls and get ready, and I'll show you guys the costume once I'm done getting ready. Hey you guys, here is my baby shower. We're getting ready yet to go. My baby shower outfit. I love this dress. It's from Shein. It's so cute. And then I have some booties. I'm gonna wait to put on just because my feet are swelling up. Um, and I'm gonna bring a change of sneakers. And then my hair is just in a clip to hold my curls. But anyway, it's gonna be so fun. I'll try and get some footage on my phone. All right, you guys. So it's now Halloween. So happy Halloween. Before we end out this vlog, I wanna do a little, I know I look tragic, but um, I wanna do a little nursery tour. But before my shower was absolutely amazing, my family and friends and sisters and everything did such an amazing job. Um, and it was one of the best days. I was so emotional, I like kept crying, opening gifts because 
I just kept thinking about how loved he is and it just warms my heart. Like I cannot wait for him to be here and we're officially in the two month countdown, which is mind boggling. Like my pregnancy, I feel like has gone by really fast. So I'm very grateful for that. And I just can't wait for him to be here. So anyways, let's do a little nursery tour. So here we have his shelves. This was already here when we moved in and we're like, this is perfect for a nursery. So let's keep it. So we ordered a bookshelf. So all of his books, we got so many from his shower, but here's just a few. We have everything still in the garage because I was building our, we, I did it all. We're building our um, changing table, but I love building furniture. I think it's so therapeutic. And honestly, I enjoy it so anyways you have some of his stuffed animals more to come um to fill i need to get like little baskets and everything and then this is his closet my father-in-law was like he has more clothes than me <laughs> but yeah he is all set there and then you come around and here it is so i just finished building his changing table you kind of figure out I feel like there's not supposed to be a gap right here. So I got to play around with that. But this is his changing table. I literally just finished two minutes ago. So it wasn't too bad. It took me like two days. And that was like working and everything. So yeah, looks good. Oh, my camera's dying. That basket's probably going to move. But then we have his rocking chair, a little ottoman. I love this mirror, but I don't think it's going to stay here. Same with that one. I got to find somewhere to put it. That's just a bunch of stuff. It's pack and play, which needs to go downstairs. We have these little clouds that we're going to put over his crib. We don't want anything hanging over his crib for safety reasons, but we did get, um, let me show you guys, just all the like directions and everything. This little wooden sign that says Case and Hosey. So I don't know where it's going to go. We have to find a spot for it. But for now, right there. And then I just ordered him some bibs. Um, so that just arrived. And then we got these cute little... Frame. So his bookshelf is going to go right here. My camera's dying, so I'm trying to go fast. I think I like the changing table right there, or we might put it right here, but I think over here would be too cluttered. So I think right there is good. So I think his name might go over the changing table, and then we have these fun little prints, little sports and animals. His nursery is very like animal neutral themed. And then this is his little crib. So I bought these sheets. I'm going to get a few more. Um, but yeah, and then obviously this is not going to stay here. It's just here for now, um, as decor, but again, not going to stay here. I know to leave the crib empty and then I'm going to get like a little thing for storage for his toys, but probably won't need that for a little bit. So yeah, it's coming together. You guys, I'm excited to start going through all of his gifts and start putting things away. I'm like really in nesting mode. And that is going to be it for this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Definitely make sure you subscribe. We have two more months until baby's here. So a lot of fun things and the holidays are coming up. I'm not going to be doing vlogmas. I don't want to put that stress on myself. And disclaimer, the only reason Brad, one reason why Brad didn't help with the changing table is because he had playoffs for soccer. So he's been very busy. And I am just like the type of gal that if I want something done, I'm going to do it myself. So Voila. But anyways, I love you guys so much and I'll see you next week.